Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really, really excited. Do you guys see where we're at? We're actually at the studio of Mix 96.5 in Houston, Texas. We're gonna learn all about what it is and how they make radio. Have you guys, I'm sure you've listened to the radio, but do you wonder how they actually put that out on the airwaves for us to enjoy all over the place? Well, today we're gonna find out how. We're here at the studio and we're gonna go check it out. You guys wanna come with me? Come on. Wow, this is such a cool place. I mean, what an amazing building. We're actually up on the 19th floor and we've got a really cool view of Houston out there. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. Come on in here, guys. I got a special key card access. All right, now here we are at the home of Mix 96.5. In here, we're gonna meet Sarah Pepper and Jesse Watt. They're right in here. You guys wanna come meet them? Let's be quiet, because they might be on air. Hey, hey, hey. Are, are we live? No, we're not live. Oh, thank no. goodness. All right, guys, come on in come here. On in. Wow, Sarah Pepper, Hi. how are you? I'm great, how are Good you? Good to see you. Thanks for having me here thank today. You for coming in. And this is Jesse Watt Hi. right here. Thank you so much for inviting us into your amazing studio today. Thank you for coming in. This is so cool. So, I mean, one of the first things I noticed is you have a really cool view of Houston right out your window. We do have a very good view. We're pretty high up, aren't we? We're on the 19th floor. 19th floor, that's really high. That's... Two people that are scared of heights, that's really high. <laughs> Which is well, why we sit over here. Oh, so yeah, let's stay away from that window. We won't go over there today. But so you guys actually make radio in here. We do. That is so cool. And you, how often are you on the air? We're on Monday through Friday, 5.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Wow, you guys have to get some good cups of coffee in then, huh? Look yes. at that. <laughs> 5.30 in the morning. Now that's probably before most of you guys wake up, but whenever you wake up in the morning, you want to start your day off right, you're driving into work, you got to listen to some good tunes and some really funny hosts. That's who we've got right here with us today. Yes. So how long have you been in radio? Oh, 20 years. <laughs> that's awesome. So a while. Yeah. Well, I mean, have things changed? Like, does this studio look different than when you first started? It does look a lot different. If you come over here, Jesse can show you where we edit our phone calls that come into the radio station. You have to edit the phone calls? All the phone calls that come in get recorded into this computer right here, and then we edit everything here. So a little bit earlier today, we did an interview with one of our good friends. You can hear it. Happy International Women's Day here on Mix 965. Play, and then when we get to edit it, <laughs> We get to take things out. It's almost like playing with a video game. Wow, that sounded <laughs> right? like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah. Yeah. That was so cool. So when you hear it sound perfect, know that it's perfect because we made it perfect. Wow, so I, I thought you guys were just in here talking, but you have to do all of this in live time too. Lots of it. And then this here, this is what's called the radio board. Wow, guys, look at that radio board. Get up close there. So these are all of my microphones right here. So here's a microphone, here's Sarah's microphone. And then the three red buttons that you see further down, that's where all the music is played. So we don't that. touch those ones because no. otherwise we go off the air. <laughs> no. Wow. So do you guys have to pick what songs play or is that already determined? We are lucky enough that we have a boss who gets to determine all of that. Yes. And she takes feedback from all of our listeners and she does focus groups. And everyone talks back about what songs they want to hear and what songs make them happy. And then she gets to play it for us on the radio. That is so cool because that would be really hard. I mean, I consider myself a little bit of a DJ at home, right? Obviously. And uh, I think I've got a pretty good playlist, but making sure everybody likes my same music, that would be really tough. Well, luckily we get to play music all the way from the 90s until now. Wow. So we have a lot, That's a lot awesome. of music in there. Well, the 90s is when I was a little cowboy and boy, <laughs> that music was really, really good back then. I know. <laughs> We're still playing it. <laughs> wow, so all these switches have a different job. I mean, there is so yes. much. And did you go to school to learn about this or was it just learn through experience? How did all that come about? We both went to school for this. We both got degrees in broadcasting, but a lot of it you learn on the job. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's how we go to college and, and university and all that and specialty schools so that we can learn ba the basic trade, right? Yeah. But then the, the rubber hits the road when we actually come into work. 
So that's what's really fun about it. We can't learn everything we need to know in books, right? Yeah, yeah. a lot of it's more doing it in person. When I first started uh, doing radio at school, I listened back to my old stuff and I sound so nervous <laughs> because I didn't smile when I talked and I didn't use my hands, so I just kind of sounded like this and it was very boring. And then my teacher said, smile and you need to use your hands. And then all of a sudden you sound so much more excited. <laughs> and that's why you do a morning show. Fun, excited. I love it. And that's true. You guys are doing the morning show. So, oh, you just have to wake up, get, I mean, mm -hmm. before you were on this show, were you a morning person? Um, to this day, I don't really like mornings. <laughs> the studio two different ways. This is Jesse coming in. Let's see this. Music. Hi, good morning. And Jesse's real morning. quiet and like gets her stuff together. <laughs> Let's see Sarah Pepper coming in. Good morning. You are not gonna believe what happened. <laughs> Let me just tell you. And then, but then after about 20 minutes and two cups of coffee, Jesse's the one that's really going and I'm like a sparkler. I burnt out early. <laughs> like I wasted the energy early, but you become a morning person when the microphone comes on. That's true. That's true. And that's funny because I, I don't know how you guys do it because obviously I'm Cowboy Jack and kiddos see me on TV all the time. But in reality, I still don't like the way my voice sounds on camera. Why? <laughs> I don't so know. Hard. It's just that weird phenomenon. And I've heard of very famous people that have that same thing. They really don't like to hear their own voice. You hear it differently than I do. it actually Everybody sounds, does. though. Uh, obviously, I, I sound... I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I, uh, I sound way cooler than yeah. I think I do. I think so. I think the only person that probably loves their voice is Adele. She's like, you know what? I, yeah. I kind of love my voice. Exactly. Or uh, what's his name? Sam Smith. He Sam probably Smith. he probably he likes probably his, loves voice. his voice. And then if <clears throat> the phones are right over there. We have six lines that come into the radio station. So when you hear us say we're wow, taking look caller at number that. nine, we do take caller number nine. Oh wow! And then the bottom two are our special numbers. Those are what we call the hotline. And if that rings and it's our boss on the other end, we are in trouble. It's like when your mom picks you up from school <laughs> and you know that you're gonna have a chit chat. You well, the yes. cowboys and cowgirls watching at home never have that happen. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> but guys, that is so cool. Now I know these guys are a little bit nervous about heights, but I want you to take a look out yeah. that window, oh, yeah, and you can see Highway 59 right there. We're in Greenway <laughs> Plaza. There was a long time ago when I used to actually live down here myself. So this right here is like the microphone you talk on? Yes, you yes. can see it on the microphone. This is the actual microphone. Now we put these in front of it because Sarah and I get too excited sometimes. And we pop our peas. We pop our peas. Oh. That sounds like this. Pop, pop. Doesn't yeah, that sound oh, yucky? Yeah, you and wouldn't want you that put going this out on there. Right? It'll sound a lot better. That's awesome. That is so That's cool. Fun. And see, there's things that you can do electronically to fix that, mm -hmm. but there's also things that you can do physically to, to change that. It's really fun. But you know, Sarah and I do most of our morning show completely live, so it's hard sometimes to remember. <laughs> in the moment, in we the might moment. get a little red. Well, here, come over here. You can get our guest microphone. You can be an official guest with us on the show. So you guys do everything live? See, I don't do anything live because I'm I get nervous <laughs> live. You would come in here and wow. we'll set you up. You put you want to put the microphone right. You want to talk directly into it right All like that. Right. Yeah, there you go. I know. <laughs> this was made for people that are a little shorter than you. And then if we were gonna record an interview with you, Jesse would hit record and we would say, Welcome to Mix965, it's Sarah Pepper and Jesse Watt. And Cowboy Jack. Woo! <laughs> and then that would record in the system and we would play it back later. That is so cool. And I love this. Like this. Wow, well, this is incredible. I mean, I have listened to the radio so many times and, and you know, I'm such a big fan. I'm actually a big fan of you guys. Oh, um, and I, mutual. Well, I, I love watching. Y'all always post such fun, uplifting social things on Facebook and Instagram and you know, I think all the parents should follow you guys if you live in Houston to keep up with what's hip and cool and going on in town. I struggle with that because I'm not exactly what I'd call hip anymore. But uh, this is just so cool because I had no idea this is what it takes to make a radio station. And you actually have a lot of soundproofing equipment in here, like these panels hanging from the ceiling. Wow. There's paneling behind here because when sound hits it, we want it to absorb it. We don't want it to send it Bounce back. back. So if right? you feel it, it's softer than actual like hard wall like would be. Sarah, what did you do at home with your, oh. Sarah built a home studio. You built a home studio? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes we have
had to record in places like our closet because our clothes are soft and they'll absorb yep. the sound. But Sarah got really creative. So I had a bigger room because I didn't have a walk-in closet. So you know um, those cushions you put on a mattress to make it softer? Oh, those yeah. A, a topper. Yeah. So there were egg crates nailed into my walls <laughs> everywhere. Fun fact, if you nail egg crates, eventually that nail will sift through. So Jesse and I would be in the middle of the show and you just hear, and I'm like, hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> egg crate fell. Egg crate fell. We learned a lot about how to do what we do in various different places. We did the show from closets, bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Remember we did the show for the bathroom? In, in a shower, actually. In a shower, yes. we did. And in then Miami. we've <laughs> done the show on our cruise ship. We've done the show in cars. I mean, you name it. Our engineers here are so smart that they will be able to figure out a way for us to, to do. To fix the sound, that yes. is so cool. Something and see, summer. we film on location everywhere, so you might not notice all the time that Cowboy Jack is wearing this microphone right here on my shirt. And that's so you guys can hear me really, really well. But at the same time, the audio of our show is not to the quality of this because this goes out on the airwaves for thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions, to listen to. And you want it to sound really, really clear. And so they use these high-tech microphones and all of this technology to make sure it sounds its absolute best. And that is so cool. It is very fun. We got the best sounds and we got the best music if you listen to Taylor Swift. Wow. Yeah. That's like a jam box right here. Right. <laughs> and if you get audio, and there have been times that Jesse and I have gotten audio where it's not as good as we want it to, we have software systems that look like this. Hey, that's you that's can, Adobe Audition. It's Adobe Audition. So we use Adobe Premiere Pro in our show. Oh, you got the fancy version. <laughs> <laughs> and you can raise the volume up. You can bring it down. These are called waveforms here, and you try to balance these out, and then. That way we can put it back in and have a cleaner set of audio than we had before. That is so cool. I mean, you guys are absolutely brilliant. I love it because you're like a jack of all trades in here. You're master of your domain right here in the studio. You come back anytime. <laughs> love these guys. We are, we are loving this. <laughs> Tell our boss that. Yes, well, <laughs> she's right down the hall. I just want kiddos to know about the exciting career path that you guys have because I think what you do is absolutely incredible and you're a public figure. You you get the word out to so many people, especially like in times, I mean, you guys have had to deliver some tough Hurricane messages Harvey, before. Here. The hurricanes and things like that, yeah. And so you're actually getting helping people get safety information. As I mean, it's not always just music, right? No. But you also get to get to interview some really cool people too, right? We had Jack. She sings Victoria's Secret. We had her on the show this morning. Lauren Daigle. Lauren Daigle. Whoa. We interview Lizzo. What? Some really cool stuff. Very cool. That's awesome. And, you know, being a part of the radio, you get to do a lot of fun things. Sarah gets to host 5Ks. She does bingo events and charity events. You really get to give back to the community in a fun way. And you might be getting up really early, but you but. do get to wear sweatpants to work. This is true. And <laughs> if you're watching this and you're one of the kiddos and you think to yourself that you're too shy to be able to do this, I was shy up until my sophomore year in high school so much so that I sat by myself at lunch because I couldn't bring myself to talk to anybody. So you will find a way to be able to come out of your shell. Well, look at you now. You're Miss Social Butterfly. I mean, this is so cool. Well, I get... Jesse will tell you I sweat a lot when we do things in public though, because <laughs> I may be like this on the outside, but the inside my heart's like about ready to beat well, out of my chest. Cowboy Jack sweats a lot too, don't okay. worry. I wear, I wear this. <laughs> <laughs> this leather vest is not exactly breathable. And you know what? These cowboys and cowgirls are always talking about my, hey, are you guys laughing at my hair? <laughs> These guys are laughing at my hair too. Okay, I'll put the hat back on. Wow, but that is so cool. That's a that's a that's a big success story. That's an incredible journey that you've been on, and look how far you've come. That's awesome. You just don't want to let something like that keep you from something that you may love, that you may really enjoy. That is such a great story. I absolutely love that. I mean, talk about persevering through an obstacle that you didn't think you could overcome, and now you're doing the exact polar opposite of what you of thought that. you could ever do. Wow. Well, it helps when you work with really good people. Working with someone that you consider one of your best friends also makes getting up at 4.30 in the morning a lot easier because we are stuck in this room, just the two of us. So if we 
did not like each other, it would be a hard, <laughs> it would be a hard <laughs> pass for both of us. But we genuinely get to come in every single day, do something that we love, and get paid to hang out with one of your best How friends. How fun is that? You get paid to hang out. Yeah. You get paid to talk about things that happen in your life in the community. You get to give back. Listen, and you get Nickelback. To your favorite song, right? Like Nickelback. Like Nickelback. So, <laughs> cowboys and cowgirls, they just made an excellent point. If you can find what you can do for work in your life that actually makes you happy and it doesn't even feel like work, that's the secret sauce, the secret to life, right? You can be extremely successful because you're putting in all that effort and so dedicated to it without even realizing it because you're just doing what you love. That is so cool. Well, thank you for coming in. We had the best time. Well, thank you for having yeah, us. You come back oh, anytime. Hey, don't say that. You'll have Cowboy Jack on the air all the time. Hey, look, that's your every day. That's your chair from here on out. All right. Well, hey, thank you guys so much for having us. Sarah and Jesse, you guys are amazing. I, I know I'm a big fan, and we'll keep listening, and I, I hope some of these cowboys and cowgirls start listening, too. Thank you. All right. Thanks, well, we'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, guys. Well, we just left Mix 96.5, but we're actually here with Sports Talk 610 as well, and they're going to let us go in and see what they're all about. This is going to be really cool. These guys make a Sports Talk radio station. Wow. Oh, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Good. I'm Cowboy Jack. Landry Locker. Nice to meet you. So you're the host here. Yes, I am. This is so cool. So you must really love sports. I do love sports. I love talking about sports. I like presenting and informing and entertaining everybody uh, about what's going on with Houston sports. That is so cool. Well, we were just talking to Sarah Pepper and uh, Jesse. Jesse Watt, and th those guys made me feel tall. You're making me feel short. <laughs> <laughs> this is so it's cool. It's wasted height. It's wasted height. <laughs> so how long have you been in radio? Uh, I've been in since 2008. I started okay. out in college. Uh, it was always like a bond with my father and I listening to the radio, like yeah. talking about what so-and-so said about the team and stuff. And uh, started in, in college, went to broad school for broadcast journalism, and then started out, you know, handing out t-shirts and stuff, and then getting the uh, the graveyard shifts and kind of work my way up to, to being in the rotation. And now you're now look at you here. This yeah. is so cool. It's fun. Yeah. It's very, very fun. So are you do an early show, right? Yeah, 10 to 2. Okay. Uh, in the loop, 10 to 2. Uh, we come in probably at about, you know, 7.30, lay out the stuff. This is like what an outline looks like. So you lay out. Uh, wow, that's cool. An outline. Look with at like that, guys. And stuff like that. Uh, different people do it different ways, but that's that's what we do at 10 to 2, which is cool. Um, the morning people have to get up at like 4 a.m. Yeah, so they, their schedule's a little they were up different. really, really early. But you guys must have, we didn't even get to meet you yet. So I'm Cowboy Jack. Brandon Scott, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Not, nice to meet you sir. Well, we just were, were so excited to be here today and get to teach kiddos what actually goes on behind the scenes of radio. Because, you know, we all get to be at home and, or in the car or wherever and listen to it, but they never actually get to see what you guys do. Yeah. And we've taken a look around all this equipment and everything, and it is so incredible the job that you guys do. Yeah. I mean, you guys are keeping everybody informed on the latest stuff going on in sports. Yeah, well, one thing about Landry and I both that I feel like this job and line of work fits us perfectly is that we just like to have conversations anyway. We're conversationalists, people who like to talk and then are passionate about sports. So if Landry, let's just say, wasn't in sports radio, or if I wasn't in sports radio, you would still find us somewhere sitting around talking about, talking sports. about sports. So it's the perfect living to kind of to kind of make for yourself when you can when you can make it work. And y'all cover broad spectrum, right? Like you're covering all sports. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I mean, we focus a lot on the professional sports here, the Texans, the Astros, and the Rockets. And one of the real important things to do in radio is to what they call play the hits. So to want to talk about the things that people most care about and are most yeah. passionate about. So we try to key in on that. But it's really important to be well-rounded because you never know what you might get hit with. That is so cool. Well, I mean, Houston is such a great city. I mean, we have the Dynamo. We have the Texans. We actually got to film with the Texans a few weeks ago. It was a lot of fun. And then, we have, of course, we have the Astros. Who doesn't love the Astros? Right. And then uh, what other professional teams do we have? We, <laughs> That's great. Red? The Rockets are, are here. The Rockets. I forgot about the Rockets. I'm sorry, <laughs> Rockets. Yeah, it's no, 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 no. I would love to film with the Rockets. I yeah. think these guys would absolutely love to meet the basketball players yeah. and see that cool stadium and everything. Yeah, it, it's, it's tough right now for the Rockets at least competitively but the in-game experience and going over to Toyota Center they still put on uh, a class 
type of event. So it's still it's still a, a, a thing to go to. Well, being Houstonians, you know, we might not always be the the, the champions in everything. We almost all the time we have at least one team that's really doing well, that's right? right? And that's so right. that's what's fun about it. Is no matter what, if you're going to a, a professional sports stadium and watching professional athletes play, that's a really great experience. Yeah, absolutely, so, absolutely. But so you guys have to so keep up with all of them. I mean, I can barely keep up with baseball, and that's my favorite sport. So I don't know how you cover basketball, football, all of that. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, well, it takes a lot of brain power. It takes a lot of muscle memory, but it's, it's worth it at the end when you can just sit down and talk. Well, about it. and these guys have to know all those facts and be prepared to talk about them on the, the drop of a dime. But at the same time, they also have to know how to work all this equipment and keep it all going. I mean, it is crazy. You guys do an incredible job. That is so cool. Yeah. What an awesome asset to the city. So I just I just want to stop in and say hi real quick. Thank you guys so much for having me. It was yeah, a pleasure well, to meet you. Glad to have you. Glad you Sports you, Talk you, 610. Yeah. Very cool. Thank Appreciate you, sir. You. All right. We'll see you guys later. All right. Thank you. Wow, guys, that was awesome. I mean, we got to learn all about how they talk about sports all day. That was so cool. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Now, not only is this home to Mix 96.5 and Sports Talk 610, but it's also 100.3 The Bulls home. And we can sneak in there and meet them real quick. Come on, guys. Ooh, these doors are really heavy. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, great. Yeah, the doors are soundproof, so they got to be super so heavy, so it keeps all the sound from outside inside. That is Welcome. so cool. I'm Cowboy Jack. Nick Russo. Nice to meet you, Cowboy Jack. Oh, well, thank you so much for inviting us in. I mean, so we're showing kiddos today how cool it is to be making radio and all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, and I think what you guys do is absolutely just unbelievable. Well, one of the most magical parts about uh, radio to me is how we go from the microphone through this cable, down the arm, into the soundboard. Then it goes to a room down the way that sends it all the way to our antenna, which is way out in the middle of nowhere, goes up the antenna and into people's radios in the speed of sound. That is so it's cool. pretty incredible. So if we were to turn on the mic right now and talk, someone would hear it in their car here in Houston. And you know what's funny is that we've we've been able to do this since what, the 1920s, 19... Yeah, probably the 1920s or so. It's one of the oldest uh, mediums for sure. And I was talking to someone yesterday who said how much they love watching YouTube and they love to stream and listen to music on the internet. And I said, well, when the internet goes away, the radio station radio will still, still be going. Well, and the radio is just, it's always there when you need it. Well, the radio always tells us what's going on in our community. If you want to know what's going on, you turn on the radio. That's true. And what we were talking to, to them about at Mix 96.5 just a minute ago is that it's not always just music. Sometimes you have a, an, an important job to get the work word out about maybe a natural disaster or something really big going on that people need to know about because I mean you're basically serving as the voice of the city here they are and people trust us to give them the right information so it's really important for instance uh, when Hurricane Harvey came in in 2017 yeah. we broadcast 24 7 we were here live in the building the whole time and, and that's what radio does it serves the community in that way for sure yeah and and you know what I, I don't mean to be partial but you guys play country music and that's my <laughs> favorite I really love country music well we're glad to do it for you <clears throat> that is so cool so what What's your favorite thing about being on air? Yo, know, the this is the part that got me hooked. So I have the privilege of getting to schedule all the music you hear on the radio station okay. as the music director, but uh, getting to talk to the listeners and getting to get to know them and then knowing that they're in their car, spending their quality time, and we're kind of a sort of a reprieve from their daily life. It's got to be one of my favorite parts, kind of being that sort of uh, that spot where they can come and listen to music and really get away from the day. It's driving crazy. That's absolutely right. And an important, uh, important point to make because when you guys get a little bit older and you go to work, all day there is nothing like getting in your car after a long day and being really tired turning on your your favorite radio station and hearing your favorite song come on that is really cool it's super uplifting and it's a pleasure to be on the radio so that is so cool well thank you yes, so much for welcome. having us in here today this is amazing I had no idea this is where 100.3 The Bull is. Yes, sir. Now, I've been listening to this station actually since I was a little cowboy myself. I bet it used to be called Kilt back <laughs> yep, in the day. Yep, K-I-L-T. Right. I do remember that. <laughs> yeah, that is so well, cool. Awesome, Cowboy Jack. Thank well, you, man. Nick, very nice yes, to sir. meet you, you, sir. I appreciate it. Wow, guys. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, what an incredible experience we've had here today with Mix 96.5, Sports Talk 610, and even 100.3 The Bull. We got to meet all these amazing people that actually go to work every day to make the radio come to life. Isn't that so cool? And we got to see their equipment, talk to them, ask them a few questions. Boy, my head's spinning. That was, a, that was really good. Are you guys laughing at my hair again? Okay, I'll put my hat back on. Anyhow, I hope you had a great time with me today because I know I had a blast and I hope you'll come along with us on all of our adventures because we go on an awful lot of them. But until next time I see you, 
Yee-haw!